make a video about a work in progress that I have uh, going on um, for a couple of reasons, just maybe to document the process a little bit and also because I'd love to get some input um, from some of my friends on kind of what they think and um, maybe some tips and suggestions from them. Um, some of my friends like uh, Mr. John714 has a lot of experience not just in knife making but making grinders, um, home fabricating tools and like most knife makers, once you start making knives and fooling around with stuff like that, you start pricing out tools and equipment. And unless you have a lot of money, it's pretty tough. So grinders um, especially seem to be the first barrier that people have to making knives because they're expensive. And having a good grinder that works well, that grinds metal easily, that isn't frustrating, the belt tracks well, and uh, you're able to make... Um, what you want quickly and efficiently is just so key. And what happens is a lot of knife makers start out with buying a very inexpensive, like a small sander or something like that, and then quickly find out how frustrating and limiting a tool like that can be. And uh, either go back completely to hand tools like files and things like that, uh, or, you know, look somehow to get a better grinder and Again, it seems like for new knife makers that getting a good grinder, which is the heart of your operation, um, is the biggest barrier to getting started making knives. So I, I thought also that by kind of documenting what I'm doing, it might be helpful to someone else out there who um, wants a good grinder and uh, maybe an option for making one. There's a lot of great videos on YouTube about homemade grinders. Um, there's good plans out on the internet. Um, what I'm working on is a grinder with a 10 inch uh, contact wheel and also a uh, flat grinding platen for um, making all kinds of different knives. And um, so the basis of what I'm, I'm working on, the foundation is uh, uh, free plans, are free plans off of the internet. It's the ear for E-E-R-F, which is just the word free spelled backwards. And um, you can go on uh, the internet, Google, and you'll find plans. Um, I want to uh, make sure that I give a shout out to um, Blind Hog uh, Custom Gunworks. Um, Chris from that great company is such a cool guy. I don't know him personally, never talked to him, but he's got the free plans, he's got build photos, he's got CAD CAM files on there, and um, I, I would suggest going to his site. I'll list that in the comments for you. And by all means, please buy a t-shirt uh, from him. I did. It's like 15 bucks or something like that, and it's how he keeps the website up. And anyone who's gone through all of that trouble to put those files on there, especially like if you had to pay someone to do CAD drawings, blueprints, or to pay for um, computer-aided machining files, I guarantee you'd be spending way more than 15 bucks. So hook that guy up. He also has um, a YouTube channel and has some pictures of uh, his grinder and um, just a great guy. And I'll try to link to that or something as well so you can check that out. So um, yeah, just a couple photos. Uh, this is just a work in progress and I'll keep posting and until we see this grinder running and throwing some sparks off of steel. So hope you enjoy this. So the first thing that I did was I downloaded the uh, CAD CAM files off of Chris's website and I went to um, a local fabricating business in uh, my community here in Ohio and they have a CNC plasma cutter with a real fine tip that just cuts in an amazing way and they were able to take those files, they did a little bit of converting work and um, cut the parts out for me. They also supplied the materials. This is mild steel. Um, I think it's uh, I think it's half inch or three quarters inch on some of the parts. Real super sturdy and um, I have the base plate uh, made bigger to mount my motor to and also to reduce vibration and uh, it was inexpensive and I'm really tickled with how they turned out. They deburred everything for me and this thing is really it's ready to drill uh, drill the holes out and to get started making a grinder. So again, here's another picture off of Chris's website. You can see that this uh, model that he made is, I think, aluminum and has a little smaller base, but this is my goal. This is what I'm going to be making 
uh, with the 10 inch contact wheel. So after the frame of a grinder and the tracking adjustment and things like that, um, the big question is where do you get a contact wheel? And a lot of people buy 10 inch wheels from Grizzly and I've heard mixed reviews about those wheels. Um, they're fairly reasonable. I think they're about 60 bucks or something like that. And a lot, I see a lot of people on the internet and in knife forums asking the question, um, how do you make homemade contact wheels? And I, I've asked the same question and you know, you get a couple comments from people, some, you know, kind of their wisdom on maybe what you could do, make a wooden wheel, cover it with leather, cover it with rubber, something like that. But there's just not a lot out there. And I, you know, I just have one burning question. Why are contact wheels so freaking expensive? Um, Beaumont Metalworks and other places like that can get great wheels, but they're really expensive. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not cheap, but I'm the next thing to it, I guess. And I'm always looking for ways to uh, do things myself. Um, I met a guy who had a big impact on my life. He was uh, a guy who um, made all of these beautiful things. And um, he grew up in a very poor family. And uh, he told me this. He said, Tim, if I can afford something, I buy the best I can, especially tools. He said, if I can afford the best, I buy it. And he said, if I can't afford it, I make it. And if I can't make it, I do without. And I love that so much. And uh, so I try to kind of live by that as well. So I, I thought, man, there's got to be a way that I can make a good contact wheel. And um, so I came up with some ideas. And uh, we'll show you the pictures here and uh, see what you guys think. Um, but it's, it's really, I, I think it's an idea that's going to work well. And uh, I haven't seen anything like this on the internet, so I'm, I'm pretty tickled and excited about experimenting with this and curious to know what you think. So here's my big idea for a contact wheel. I went on eBay and I found a caster wheel made out of phenolic. It's the black wheel on the right there. It's a 2x8 wheel and has great roller bearings and a, a shaft in there. And um, then Think, wondering how am I going to cover this thing, I searched and found this uh, polyurethane tube uh, piece, an end cut of a pipe, and this polyurethane is pretty cool. It's uh, 90 durometer, and the inside diameter of that tube is smaller um, than the uh, contact wheel. So my plan is to press fit that inside using a super heavy um, hydraulic press that one of my business clients has. Um, in their machine shop and I'll probably glue it too and just press it in there it's oversized as you can see and I'll I'll trim it down to two inches or slightly over two inches to fit the wheel and uh, I'm really excited about it I think that's going to be a great answer for an inexpensive wheel I bought the end cut of polyurethane for 20 bucks and I paid eight dollars for the caster wheel so hopefully I end up with a twenty eight dollar awesome contact wheel you can see here um, the width of that wheel your thing's a little bit over 10 and I'll turn it down maybe a little bit. So that's my work in progress and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I travel a lot and so it, it's kind of hard to keep working on these projects plus make knives. And um, But I, I'm really excited about it. I think my contact wheel answer could be something totally cool and uh, be a big help to people who are trying to make their own contact wheels. We'll see if we can get it balanced up and trued and, and working right. And uh, that's going to be fun to uh, experiment on. So thanks a lot. Stay tuned for uh, more videos about this work in progress.